Hey everybody, it's Shulkin Hyden and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Hyden campaign. This is February 4th, 1942. Hmm. It's been about five days since I've had a turn, so uh, I almost forgot what's happening here, so I gotta try to figure this all out again. Helsin hasn't had been able to get me a turn in a while. Anyway, we're, we're continuing to unload here at Nadi, because we're invading Suva, obviously. <sighs> I'm having a drink right now, having a gin and tonic, and it's not to celebrate anything in particular. Okay, so the uh, uh, 53rd Division is landing at Naughty. They brought this from the home islands. Uh, I'm not celebrating anything because I just watched the turn one from my new campaign that I started versus Macho, and it did not go well. So I'm having a drink because I'm not too thrilled with how that went. You'll see that video later. I'm not impressed by my performance on that one anyway hopefully this turn goes better for me okay yeah 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 we're unloading it naughty I, I get it Okay, so what we're doing is we're basically landing in all these dot islands near Fiji. I want to grab as much as I can while I can. Okay, so that means there was no naval reaction to anything we did this turn. Not even any subs. That's crazy. I like PT, but oh, that's right, coming out of Palembang. Okay, so here we go, bombing in some, this is some bombing out of uh, Calcutta for these units that are retreating in India. I'm trying to slow them down so I can kill them before they leave the hex. And unfortunately, we have really bad weather here, and I don't even know if we're even going to slow them down like that. That stinks. Look at that. Wasted, wasted sortie. They're probably going to get out of the hex before I can even catch up to them. I'm just doing some partisan bombing here in China. I... I'm not trying to over narrate this, but I'm trying to remember what the heck I actually did because it's been so long now. So I'm kind of talking myself through this turn to remember what the heck it was that I was trying to do. Okay, good hit on Kwai Lin. Air base supply hits what we're always looking for. Good. Okay, another big raid on Palembang. Unfortunately, we have heavy, uh, severe storms again, so it's going to limit effectiveness. But what I'm targeting is just disruption on these squads, because I do intend to take Palembang this turn. Mm. Flat hit at the Tom, but we get some good supply hits. Hopefully that's enough disruption at Palembang to take the base. Really good supply hits at Baton this turn. I like that. 
Yeah, really good. Uh, I'm probably going to lose some ships here. These guys have been very effective. I have no cap right now. Dang it. Yeah. Wow. Yikes. That's not good. All right. So, lesson learned here. I need to cover these better because these ships are just, they're just ripping me up, man. Jesus, look at that. Those ships are good. done. All right, AM phase in the books. Uh, we're going to have to be subjected to, yeah, more of that bombing next turn from from Suva. Dang it. Come on. What's up this weather? A lot of my important air missions this turn. Well, okay, I take it back. I was going to say they got canceled, but it looks like they're going in. All right, 82nd Chinese Corps. We need more hits on that. What is this? All right, 12th Chinese Base Force. Oh, that's good. Okay. Eightieth Chinese Corps. That's two. Sixteenth Chinese Corps. So so far, three Chinese Corps heading towards Chang Two. Six, three Chinese Corps to Chang Two. I should write that down. Where are my notes for this campaign? It's been so long. All right, this is the fourth of Feb. Three Chinese Corps. Chang Two. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's just... I just want to fast forward. I don't want to see it. Alright. Another ship takes another bomb. Alright, well, I guess it could have been worse, but it could have been better too. So, hopefully ground combat goes a little bit better for us than, than that did. Okay, yep, we know, we know. This should be a blowout, so. Retreating. Retreating. Uh, all right, well, that's actually not the worst thing because I was intending to send this unit down this way to get to this rail line blockage anyway. So it's not really the worst thing. We do inflict some good casualties on that. And that rail line is now opened again. Okay, 
This is a fully intact regiment attacking to open this rail line here. It should go... I, I just want to kill this at this point. And I didn't. <laughs> and you retreat in the absolute worst direction you can. Golly. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Guys, look at this. Where did all these troops go? Wh look at this! Guys, this this just got vacated big time. Wow. He's down to 1,000 AV. Um, he's Actually, we have more AV than he does now. This might actually be... Um, Worthwhile to attack at this point. Wow. You know what? I'm taking a screenshot of that. I need to... I need to think about this. Alright. Anyway. Um, I like what I'm seeing here. We may be able to break through here now, guys. With all these tanks. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Now, I'm a deliberate attacking here, but I had intended to bomb here, but my bombers didn't go in. So I have no idea how this is going to go. Yeah, not good. Didn't go good at all, actually. No? Okay. It went okay, because we took less casualties than he did. I think if we hit him a second turn, we'll get him out of there. My bombers did not disrupt him, though. Cool. Well, we got naughty guys on Suva, and we figured that we would. All right. Now on to the big one. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we're going to take Palambang this turn, guys. It's just the... Uh, what I'm not sure about is how much damage we're going to inherit when we do it. Let's find out. Yep, I think we got it. We got it, guys. Palambane. Hello, my misguided friends. This is your number one enemy, Orphan Anne, from Radio Tokyo, with another blow to your morale and some music to console you. Today, the Imperial government announced that the ever-victorious forces awesome. of the Japanese Empire have captured Palembang. I mean, to capture Palembang with so few... You forces and so little losses I, th I think Elson had an opportunity to do much more damage here at least to my troops now we're going to have to find out what's left of the base and I have no idea but we got it guys Palambang is ours alright and we capture Shuebo And a base force, we just knocked it out. That's done. He's still retreating with so many troops, though. I can't. I just can't seem to catch these guys. I'm always a turn behind them all, so I gotta do something to catch up with all these all these fragments escaping Calcutta. Dang it! All right. And another shock attack here, and I'm hoping this is the turn that we finally bust through here. Come on. Right? We have to take it now. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. What a pain in the butt. I can't believe these guys held on for so long. So this final Chinese unit is destroyed here, which means I can free up these guys to go partisan hunting further down. And we can start pushing on Yan'an. Which is what I really wanted to do. Okay, and we're here in Ketapang. This should go pretty easily. Cool, man. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. It's been so long. Uh, capturing these bases near Flores. Or on Flores. And Miri. Oh, forgot about Miri. Yeah, we got Miri too. Man, what a good turn. This is turning out better than I thought it would. Alright, and a little bit of a setback at Brunei. But we do way more damage to him than he did to us, so I think it's just a matter of time there. He should have almost no AV, and there's no forts. I don't know that he ever had forts. Alright, anyway. Fine with me. We can take our time on Brunei. And Tanjung... Tanjung Balai on here. This is on uh, Sumatra. And another one of these island bases uh, north of Timor. And an allied shock attack, which is fine with me. This is a suicide attack. Uh, this unit will probably be eradicated. Or not. Okay, it wasn't because I'm in the wrong op mode. But that's okay. Um, it's just we'll have to kill this off to open this rail line back up again. Okay, and now we're going to start picking off these dot bases all near Fiji. I think we I think we know how this is gonna go. Nice. Um, okay, other than a couple ship losses, this was a dang good turn. Uh, again, Helsin's uh, Sir Robin technique here is not working out so well, I don't think. We're capturing bases left and right with no opposition. Now we get to find out how damaged they are. Yep, I'm aware. I'm working on fixing that. Looks like I was a reinforcement unit there in Tokyo. Not bad, guys. I think it's going to be good. Well, we grabbed some oil, but uh, I didn't get as lucky this time around as I have at other bases. We'll talk about that. Let's start with the aircraft losses for this turn. Six for us, three for the Allies. I lost a couple aircraft a few to flak some ops losses here uh, he lost looks like a b-18 kingfisher and a catalina of those aircraft that i lost four killed pilots man my pilot death rate is just atrocious isn't it we'll take a look briefly at the wounded pilots see how they're doing looks like all these guys are coming back and in the reserve it's the usual suspects not coming back. So holding out for uh, Lieutenant Commander Agusa, but I, I don't think he's ever coming back. All right, uh, last turn. Ship sunk. Not great. Um, we lost the uh, Nichiyu Maru. This is another use and end. These are some of my best sh uh, cargo ships. Now that's lost. That's a big. That's a big uh, hit for me. Uh, looking at the army loss points, 
We lost one. He lost 112. That was pretty good. No strat points. For the turn, we gained 270 points, bringing the win ratio up to 2.794. Getting there, guys. Getting there. Okay. We'll take a look at Combat Reporter. Uh, ground activity. We already saw most of that. Nothing super exciting other than Palombang falling, which was good for us. Naughty in, the, uh, in Fiji was good. Miri, another good one. Overall, uh, good ground activity this turn. We lost very little troops. In the air, nothing really exciting other than his uh, aircraft at Naughty dropping a bunch of bombs on us here. So that's the, the Nichiu Maru was what sank. And we'll take a look at the Montreal Maru and the Tetuno Maru right now. We'll see what their damage is looking like. So that guy's good. The Tatum Maru should be okay as long as we get the supply off. At the Montreal Maru, we should be able to save as well. But again, we need to unload the supply because that's what's going to stoke those fires. So I'm going to try to expedite getting these ships unloaded and get the rest of these guys into port for now until we can deal with uh, the aircraft at Suva. All right. Sigant report. Uh... That's nothing, nothing. So Bombay's got stuff going on there. We'll show you that in a minute. Cheetah is in uh, Soviet Union. Palmerston North is on New Zealand. I can't do anything about that. And then Clark Field activity there, but that's not surprising. Looking at the ops report real quick, because there's not a whole lot here that we need to look at. Intel report. Um, Tahiti is port size 3, and that's important to me. And that is over here. Right? Tahiti is right here. And I've been I've been telling you guys, he's working on making this a convoy lane. That's why I have all these submarines deployed out here right now. And I'm looking for his ships. I think he's coming through here. I'd like to put another sub over here if I can. Just to kind of see if he's going this way. And heading straight for Auckland. We'll see. And then Cape Town is airfield size 7. That's off map. Can't do anything about that. Calcutta finally fort size is coming up there a little bit. And Japanese tab. 13 bases captured this turn, guys. That's pretty good. A couple of those are good for us, right? Like um, Miri, Palembang, Shuebo, Nadi. I'll show you all those when we go around the map. We'll do that now. Uh, nothing in the Northern Pacific is happening at all. Manchuko is super quiet and we'll start with China. So right now we've got partisan cleanup operations going on here 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 We got these guys here and these guys here So I'm still in the process of neutralizing all these guys because they're just getting in the way and tying up troops and blocking my rail lines And I don't really need that right now because we're experiencing some shortage of resources in Fusan because of all the disruption on the rail lines. It's cutting down how many resources can flow back to Fusan for my uh, transfer into the home islands. So I need to get all these rail lines cleaned up because that will expedite the transfer of resources to Fusan. All right. Um, we are moving on Yunnan in two directions. I want to go this way and I want to secure it this way. And we'll see who gets there first. In Kung Cheng, we're looking really good. That's right here. Let me show you what we got there. We now have almost, oops, let me get that out of there. A thousand AV, almost. A couple artillery units, which I'm going to have bombard next turn just to get a feel for what he's got left here. Um, with addition to that, I've got another 300 coming in next turn and another 900 coming in in about a week. So, Pretty soon we're going to have about 2200 AV here and I am pretty confident that we'll be able to break through here. And once we break through here we can do two things. We can turn north for Lanchow and south to start Cascade uh, pushing his troops back down this way and squeezing them back into Chongqing. Or better yet maybe I can uh, cut these guys off somewhere in here and keep them from retreating all the way. So one thing that I noticed last turn was here at uh, at the crossroads, something kind of big happened here. So let's take a look at that. And that is 
8140 hex. So let's look at the ground attack there. 8140. Look at this. Guys, he's moved a lot of troops now. He's he's moving his troops back towards Chungking right now. That's what he's in the process of doing. But now I see a potential opportunity here, guys. Um, this is what I've got. And this is what he's got. And a lot of what I've got here in assault value is tanks. I'm wondering if now might be the time to start pushing the action here a little bit more. He's down to a thousand AV of only infantry. He's and a couple uh, one AT gun regiment. I I don't think he's got. I think we might be able to push through here, guys. So I'm probably gonna start attacking here within the next turn or two after I bombard a little bit more because I want to drain his supply out of this hex. And then I think we can break through here with this armor. I'm liking this. Now, what that means after that is that once we break through, we head this way. Okay. And then we have to deal with this uh, collection of troops. But if we're here, that means he can't continue sending troops down this way. Because he's going to have to move troops here to stop us. And that will keep him from reinforcing Chungking. Because he's not going to want us to come in through Kanko and, 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 and bust through this way. So I think he's weakened himself to the point now where we may be able to get through here with just, just due to the, the sheer amount of armor that we've got, right? I think it might be worthwhile to look into that. So uh, this is what I'm looking at now. I got some recon up. What was here in this hex was a base force, which is heading down to Night King. Fine with me. Um, we do have some recon in Cheng 2, and it looks like he only has maybe one decent-sized core and a uh, headquarters unit there. He is trying to send troops from Kanko towards Chang 2, but he's got secondary roads to get there, and we're going to be bombing him to slow him down. So my troops are going to head towards Chang 2 and take that. This is the second most important base in the Chungking Plain because it's a major resource uh, center for supply, right? Uh, heavy industry, light industry, all comes out of this place. And if we can take this base, we, we shut off a lot of supply generation for him and this is also the secondary headquarters of the entire Chinese uh, military so if we have this and we have this the Chinese military is basically done for uh, so I've got my my infantry moving at absolute full speed up this way and I'm going straight for Cheng to take that out before and we will beat him there because even if he comes from Chungking or, or uh, Kanko, uh, we have the fastest route, and I've got the air support out of Ai Chang to bomb and slow down his troops moving towards us. So we're going to beat him to Chang too, no problem, and we'll take that base out. And from there, we figure out what we want to do next. I do see that he moved a unit in here, but I'm, I'm not overly concerned about it. I also see that he's moving troops here, and he's just doing this to try to spoil us, but I'm smarter than that. And I've left units in every one of these hexes that can hold down the fort in the event of that. For example, I've got, um, well, these guys are on the move, but coming in behind them, I've got recon regiments. I've got all kinds of stuff that can easily hold back any of these attacks. So we'll, do, we'll reduce these guys here and here, and it won't dis disrupt, disrupt our supply because, as you see, we own the hex sides that matter. So it's all, it's all gravy, baby. Cool. Yeah, man, this is this is looking really good. And I've got more troops coming up this way. Yeah, we're looking good, guys. So that's the goal. We're going for Chang Two. In uh, the southern part of China, uh, just some partisan activity down here, mostly, right? We've got these guys moving to do another shock attack across here, and he've, he've got his troops moving. Presumably this way here and trying to get out of here. We've got the hundredth core which initially starts in Wenchow here um, We didn't get the bombers to fly so they did not help us out But we took way less casualties than he did so I'm going to attack again next turn right here And we should be able to blast that hundred core and send them retreating back into the hills here with a lot of AV missing 
and make them combat ineffective anywhere else in China because supply is going to continue to dwindle here and it's going to make it harder for these units that are disabled to repair themselves. So the more that I can damage puts a big draw on supply overall. In Nanning, uh, this is the other active area. Our units are rebuilding nicely. As you can see, the fatigue and disruption are basically non-existent. We're slowly rebuilding these TOEs every turn. And if we look at the base infrastructure building, we're well on our way to get this air capacity up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop building forts for now because there's no immediate threat. I want to get all my engineers going into airfield capacity and get this up to a size 8 as quickly as possible to have another base to power project if we need to this way later on. And there's a lot of points in doing that. Okay, in Burma, our forces continue pushing towards Lashio, which is the next major spot of resistance, which has last count 30,000 British and I'm assuming Chinese troops here. Uh, I want to put pressure on there and bombard them every day and force supply to be sucked out of China towards Lido or Lashio rather to keep them alive. Eventually we'll get ahead of it and we can attack through here and then he's really in trouble because now we've opened up a second flank into China from this direction. All right, uh, taking a look at India, uh, things are looking better over here. Next turn we shock attack here. And then we continue to drive down to take all these bases over here. Uh, where it's not going so well is me. I am not keeping up with his troops. These guys got away from me. These guys got away from me. And now they can potentially strap move out of here. Uh, and probably escape. So I time is of the essence with these armored troops here. They have to get in here and take these guys out before they get into Ranchi. I just need to move faster. He also got three units into a Asan Seoul, but I've got armor coming in behind it, chasing them down. I don't think he can take the base, but if he does take the base, it's not necessarily a big problem because that means he's going to have to stop for a turn. So really, he's kind of he's kind of stuck here now. I think we've got him boxed in finally. He has nowhere to go. We own all the hex sides. Even if he takes the base. He cannot retreat before my armor engages him. So uh, these guys are dead. I do have these guys cornered. It's these guys here that I can't seem to catch. We've fixed all the garrison issues on this part of India. So now we finally see supplies flowing towards um, this base here. And then from there, we can head out in three different directions if we want to. Okay, at Sumatra. Now, uh, the good news is Northern Sumatra is doing great. The not so great news is that we took Palembang with very few casualties, but the base is trashed. Look at this. Um, we're looking at 200 oil centers destroyed and 233 refineries destroyed. That to me is not that great. It's not so good. I was hoping for better and we didn't quite get it. but. I am probably going to attempt to repair the oil because the way the math works out is, is this. Every oil uh, center gives you 10 oil per turn. The refineries take that 10 oil and make, I believe it's one supply and nine fuel every turn out of that oil. Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's something like that. So it basically, for every oil center you repair, it takes 100 days to recoup the supply that you... Um, is that how that works out? I think it's 100 days to break even on every oil refinery or every oil uh, center you build. I, you know, it's getting late here, guys. My math... I'm not good at math. And there's, there's a case to be made for fixing the oil centers, but not the refineries. So I'll investigate that. In the meantime... We're going to continue attacking this way towards the Dutch, Dutch troops here. And we're going to move up to Jambi and hopefully grab that with no opposition and grab a bunch of oil there. Okay. Uh, over at Miri, uh, things went a little bit better. We captured the base. At, the way this works is that this basically starts this way from the start, right? 
Um, half of the oil and half the refiners are already damaged when the allies have it at Miri. So there's basically no additional damage at Miri. I can I can have this base without having to take much more damage. Uh, we're working on Balak Poppin right now. Still moving towards it. Uh, on Mindanao, status quo. Uh, I would have thought he'd be starting to get low on supply here, but apparently not. I've got a third SNLF company going to move in there in about two turns. And then we'll start bombarding the kind of feel out to see if it's worth attacking yet. I don't know. I'm guessing it's not a good idea because he's got three times the AV and he's on times three terrain. So I can't imagine us doing very well without a lot of force here. Unless he's out of supply. Okay, on Luzon, status quo, but we definitely keep seeing submarines here. Uh, and I think this is where they're coming from. From Terracan, if you see one there, you see one there. He's bringing supplies from Terracan into Bataan. And if you look at Terracan, you see that he's got potentially four subs there. So he's going back and forth between Bataan and Terracan to get as many supplies out of here and into here as possible. So when we take Terracan in about a week or so, hopefully that puts an end to this and finally puts the Philippines in a situation where they can't really be reasonably supplied by anything. All right, Java, uh, not much going on here. We just continue moving nice and slow to take to Jilat Jap, and then we'll go for Kalajadi and the rest of these bases. And I'm assuming that my troops in Palembang will head south here to eventually uh, come across the Merak Straits into into Merak and attack Palembang or Batavia from there. Because I won't need all those troops there in, in Sumatra for much longer. And we'll do a little pincer move and bottle them up in Fortress Bandung. Okay. Uh, over here in this part of the Dutch East Indies, we're just capturing bases. And I'm just going to start leapfrogging like I was about a month or two ago. And start grabbing all these little flag bases because I can use every point right now. Okay. Looking at the... Uh, Australia Coral Sea areas. It does appear to be rather quiet. If we hit the F5 button, we can take a quick peek. And I definitely see something that's not so great. We have enemy troops here and here. So he's moving very fast towards Cairns. Cairns? Cairns? And I have no idea what he's got down here. So um, I am definitely in full evacuation mode, if you guys can see. We're heading back towards um, Cooktown, and we're going to fall back there, and that'll be our final destination as far as what we're defending. But yeah, we're going to be giving this base up back to him pretty soon. Uh, as far as Rabal and everything else over here is concerned, it's looking a lot better. We're continuing to build up the, the base of Rabal for points, and because it's going to be a long-term hold, I'm also looking to finally get Port Moresby built up. So I'm in the process of shuttling troops back and forth. I'm starting to pull out unnecessary engineer units at Cooktown because we've more or less um, built the base as far as we need it to be built. Only thing we're working out now is a little bit of port capacity and uh, fortification. In fact, I don't, maybe I'll get the port size too and that's it. I don't want to build him a base that he's going to get back someday. But there we go. And lastly, I'd like to take a look at Operation Foxtrot. So overall, this is going extremely well. Um, one thing I didn't anticipate was the effectiveness of his uh, Singapore's and his Vincent's. They've destroyed, what, one or two ships now. And I've already showed you that damage, but uh, I need to figure out a way to neutralize these guys. And I think the best way to neutralize them is to just get in there and, and take this place. So I've got two regiments and one division heading for Suva, which historically has always been difficult to take, even with just the indigenous troops aboard. The Australia, uh, the New Zealand Brigade and the, and the indigenous troops usually put up a really good fight. So I came in here really heavy with a lot of troops. We're going to take Suva. And from there, um, while we do that, we'll continue 
mopping up all of these other flag and dot bases in the immediate vicinity to dissuade him from coming back here anytime soon. And I think I might want to go over and grab Baba U as well because this is a really good base. Uh, my my friend Nomad, rest in peace, he's no longer with us, but when I was playing Allies, he taught me about the value of Baba U. And I'd like to grab this base from Helsin so he doesn't have this chance to uh, build it up. And that's basically going to make it so that this is where he has to start any of future offensives from, right? He won't be able to launch attacks on Numea from Fiji because we're going to own all of Fiji and every little bit of it. And it's just going to take him time. He may want to leapfrog on Fiji. He may not uh, because there's a lot of points here for him and for me. So we'll see what he does. But uh, there's nothing he can do to stop us taking Fiji at this point. We've got it in the bag. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this turn. Uh, the turn production is slow right now, but Helson told me that we'll be picking up in a few weeks because he's looking to move a lot closer to his new job. And that's going to give him more time to sleep, to, to play this game, and to just have more wits about him because he's got a big commute, working 12-hour shifts overnight right now, and it's hard on him. And I understand that, so... I'm going to be patient because I've got a new campaign that I just started. That video will come out in a couple days. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not so great for me. It's very bloody. But in the meantime, I'll catch you guys on the next one.